And it doesn't matter where I've lived. I've lived in Ontario. I've lived in Montreal. And I've, and I've lived here. And everybody tells me, you are so honored to have an uncle like that. That's not the... You're spoiled. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he was one of the spoiling factors of my life. Um, our uncles don't do that for us. I... If I say I, I like bagels, I get a box of bagels. If I say, <laughs> you know, I like this kind of candy bar, I get a box of candy bars. He's out shopping all the time, picking up little trinkets, and, and I get a box of that. And you know what? I look forward to that. It makes my day, it makes my week, it makes my life. He is my life. If anything ever happened to him, I... <sighs> uh, he took care of his mother and father when, you know, when they were here. When Granddaddy passed away, I was too young to remember that, but I mean, he he took care of his mother. He was always there to take care of his mother, and he made a promise to, sorry, <laughs> he made a promise to his mom that he would take care of everybody, and he did, and he held up to that promise. Um, I look at him as a, I, I admire him and I look up to him and I kind of fall in that same situation because my family, I don't have my own children, like he doesn't have his own children. And uh, so my children is my family and I think that's how he thinks is that, you know, his brothers and sisters were like his children. When I didn't have anybody, I didn't know where to. Sorry. When my dad died, it was him that I went to, to talk to and to help me. Mm -hmm. Just because I knew in myself, I told my, uh, I asked myself, what would, would my dad do? And that's what he would have done. I always call Uncle Kondo for help. And knew he would guide him in the right way. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. In order to to keep a language alive, it takes, takes more than, than the substance of, of learning the tongue and learning the syntax and learning how, how to how to uh, bring things together. It takes commitment. It, it takes, it's almost like a spiritual quest, you know, where the generation of, of Kondo, they were born into it and they were brought up into it. They didn't have to go anywhere to do it. I'm just lucky enough that I was brought up in it. I didn't have to go anywhere. So for you who are listening to this, you're going to have to go somewhere to get this. And that somewhere is maybe next door or or the other way uh, across town or depending how far in the future you know you may have to go to the next community or to a library to get this stuff you need to do it mm -hmm. you need to you need to there's no if ands or buts there is no excuse you need to do it and you need to know that a man like Kondo is a man who had the structure to do it the wherewithal to do it it takes discipline to do it and that's what you need to do. And that's what I would like you to remember, uh, my uncle. Mm -hmm. Uncle Kondo, I'm so proud of you and I'm glad that you're being honored and recognized for all you've done as an elder of our community. They couldn't have chosen a better person. Right now you're watching this Kondo. I'm very proud of you and I am really proud that he's honored. This never happened to any member of our family. So it is something big for us. Mm -hmm. And I still say you couldn't have picked a better guy. <laughs> you know. Well, hello, Kondo. Medalin. Well, Dazi, uh, guess who? Uh, honor of our Kappa. I've had to work. At least I've been over this year. I've been there. Gene Watson there. I saw him there. Scheduled. What's that day? Gene Watson. And we've been there. Guess that day, Picky Saw. Adam. As a woman, he's a Louis, and 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 he's a Louis,
The sun goes down in Calvin County. Neon lights from an old beer sign shone through the window out on the sidewalk as I walked in to pass the time. I looked around, sat down at a table, ordered beef on rye and a glass of wine. And through the door came a little old lady. She was selling paper roses and they only caused to die. Trembling hands as she passed the rose. Red crepe paper made nature's bouquet. Help a little old lady buy a rose today. I took the rose from her trembling hand. With eyes of age, she smiled and walked away. Like a breath of spring, I could smell the rose. It came alive, and I heard her say, But they only cause to die. I went to look for her outside. A spray of roses lay by her side. The sky lit up and the choir sang. A thousand voices as the church bells rang. They sang rosy, paper rosy. She sold me paper roses, but they only caused to die. Gondo.